Okay, here we have the DC44 Dyson vacuum cleaner, and there's a couple of other jobs that you need to do quite regularly. And one I'm just going to quickly talk about is the filter. So behind the main vacuum dust collecting area and the motor itself with the battery, you've got a very top large purpley blue clip. That allows you to separate the unit off. This is very, very light, and often people will want to remove this section just like this to make it easier when removing the main dust hopper. On this, the heavier end, where the battery and the motor lies, you've now got visible this removable filter. Now this you want to remove quite regularly. It does get dusty, and that's exactly what you want to get rid of. I always give it a tap, and then it needs to be washed under the sink, under a running tap for a few minutes until this returns back to a very good purple colour, and then to be dried uh, easily and slowly, uh, either on a windowsill in direct sunlight, or on a radiator, or near a radiator, takes one or two days to actually dry, so um, obviously you want to do this after you've done a load of vacuum cleaning and before you're going to do some more. Once it's clean and dry, it's a really simple case of popping it back in again. There's an obvious up and down the way it's shaped, so a little purple lug on top, there's no way you can get this in upside down. Make sure it's smooth and snug before you then try to reattach the two units. And it's a really nice simple case of bottom on first, hinge the top together until you get a nice click or uh, you can feel that that is totally flat.